This is the brand new Anycubic Photon M5S and it just might be the fastest and smartest resin 3D printer that I've ever used. This new printer by Anycubic has honestly just been kind of amazing to print with over the past week and I'm excited to share some of the prints here and yeah, they are printing just blazingly fast and excited to show you some of the comparisons that I've run off and 3D printed with it. So the new Photon M5S is sporting a 10.1 inch 12K resolution display for this resin 3D printer and a build volume of 218 by 123 by 200 millimeters high, which is a good mid-size build volume for a resin 3D printer of this size. And getting the printer set up is a really straightforward task of basically just getting it set up out of the box. And the very first thing that you're gonna end up doing is installing a screen protector on the machine. It's so nice to see that Anycubic has seen that so many people with their resin 3D printers like to install screen protectors and have included one with the machine that you can install right off the bat to help protect that screen when you're resin 3D printing so that you don't ever spill resin on that and ruin your screen. There's also handles on the side of the machine that make it really easy to maneuver this thing around when needed. The USB port is gonna be located on the side of the machine as well not in the front. I know there's a big debate on which is the best, the front or the side, but it's, you know, up for grabs here for me. As long as it's not in the back, I'm okay with that. The printer's also sporting a laser etched build plate that really helps your prints adhere to that build plate surface. And one of the coolest features of this resin 3D printer that I've never seen on any other machine is an auto leveling system. So there's no bolt or anything like this on the build plate that you have to mess with. You're just gonna put the build plate on the printer, tighten it down and start your print and it's automatically going to adjust the leveling for you during your printing. It's kind of amazing. And so far I've had zero issues with my prints, either adhering or the auto bed leveling system with this. If anything, I might just need to adjust some of my bottom layer settings to make it easier for me to get my prints off of the build plate. And I know a number of you like to install those magnetic flex plates to your resin 3D printers to make it easier to flex your prints off after you're done printing with them. And I wasn't sure how this would work with this auto leveling system here on the new M5S. Well, I went ahead and put a piece of paper in the vat along with a few sheets of uh, the build plates there since I didn't have an extra magnetic thing laying around that would fit this build plate and just went ahead and tried to start a print and see if it would actually end up auto leveling properly and continue with the printing process. And I was very happy to see that it did. So in theory, you should be able to install one and I'll definitely be testing that out here very soon. The M5S is also sporting a new high speed release film inside the vat that's gonna help increase the success rate of your high speed prints and you will definitely be printing some fast things on this printer. On each side of the vat, you're gonna find bolts that are gonna help secure it in place as well as handles. And on the bottom of the vat, you're gonna find those little feet that help keep it lifted off of your tabletop surface as well as make it more easily aligned when installing the vat back into the printer. And I had mentioned that this is a smart resin 3D printer and it's not only that it's doing that auto leveling functionality here when it's starting up your prints, but there's also a number of other checks that it runs through before starting your print. Like one of the most critical ones is that you have enough resin inside of the vat before you actually start your print. So it's somehow, I'm not even sure how it's doing it, is doing some sort of a check to see that you have enough resin inside of the vat and if you don't, it's gonna present you with a warning message. Now this isn't necessarily a smart feature, however, it might be a really smart thing that Anycubic has included inside this 3D printer that I have not seen on any other machine, which is at the end of your print, regardless if you've, uh, you've it's finished its job or maybe you had a failed print and you needed to stop the print, there is a vat clean function right on that end screen. Thank you. That is incredibly awesome. It's really handy to have that there in place so that you don't have to go digging through some other sub menus to find a vat clean function when you need to run off and clean out your vat. Now here's a crazy one. Anycubic's Photon Workshop, their slicer for the resin 3D printers is now actually good. There's a new update that now includes the Photon M5S and there's predefined profiles that work surprisingly well for this printer. And in fact, I used this slicer and it's incredibly fast now. And I used their default profiles for everything that I printed and they worked so well. 
I'm honestly shocked by this because in the past, Photon Workshop hasn't been that great, but it looks like they've put in a lot of effort to make this really fast and usable. And honestly, if you're new to resin 3D printing, this might be a perfect slicer to start with before moving on to some of the more complex slicers that are out there. Let's talk about that high speed print functionality on this machine. Anycubic has stated that you can print about 105 millimeters per hour at 0.1 layer height. Now, typically I print at 0.05 layer height, but I figured, Let's try this out and see how this actually works at 0.1 and start comparing it to some other 0.05 millimeter layer height prints that I have and just see how fast this thing can print. Now, to take advantage of this as well, I'm also using Anycubic's new high speed resin, which has a really low viscosity. I mean, this stuff is very, very liquidy. Now, I know a lot of you out there like to use your resin 3D printers for printing miniatures. So I started off by printing some of these miniatures from Loot Studios at point one millimeter layer height, and they took 32 minutes to print a full build plate full of these guys. And just as a comparison, I printed the exact same set of files with the exact same settings, the only difference changing it from 0.1 to 0.05 layer height, and these printed in exactly one hour. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys here. I can't really spot the difference between the miniatures unless I get in extremely close on these and start trying to examine every little nook and cranny of these 3D prints to try and spot the differences between the 0.1 and the 0.05 layer height prints. I think the 0.05 looks a little bit crisper and cleaner with its details, but if you're looking for some really quick print options, the 0.1 is surprisingly great on this 12K resolution resin 3D printer. And I'm still kind of blown away by the print time of 32 minutes. Then I wanted to print something that was a little larger and a good bit more detailed. So I found the Toad Lord from Witch Song Miniatures that printed in one hour and 40 minutes at 0.05 layer height. And another fun fact about this miniature is that the base ended up not being hollowed at all, was completely solid, as well as the body torso was completely solid and supported and had no issues printing with that high speed resin. I then went off and printed this 75 millimeter scale Oni Brute from Loot Studios, and it took two hours and 40 minutes for this to print at 0.05 millimeter layer height. And this print looks absolutely amazing. I'm just kind of blown away at how crisp and clean this print looks. I could definitely use a better job of cleaning up my prints, but overall I am so happy with how awesome this model printed. And finally, I wanted to do one last comparison using a bust from Photos Mint, and it's his Hades bust that he's recently released. And I initially printed this at 0.1 millimeter layer height, and it took almost exactly one hour to 3D print. And this literally might be the cleanest looking one millimeter resin 3D print that I've ever seen. Is it perfect? No. Am I impressed? Yes, very. And honestly, unless I started looking extremely close at this, I probably would have never noticed that it was printed at 0.1 layer height. And just for comparison, I went back and reprinted it, but at that 0.05 layer height, and it took just under two hours to 3D print. Now, this one is clearly better when you compare these side by side. But again, it is really, like unless you're looking for it, you might not even notice that. And still, even at 0.05 layer height, this printed incredibly fast at just under two hours for a print of this size. And as I mentioned previously, Anycubic stated that you can print at 105 millimeters per hour. However, I like to deal with the number of layers that I can print. And in general, what I found is you can print about 500 layers per 30 minutes or 1000 layers per hour, regardless of what layer height that you're printing with. And a great example of this is that Hades bus by Photos Mint. We're at 0.1 layer height. It came in at just over 1000 layers and it printed in one hour. Then by printing it at 0.05 layer height, we've effectively doubled the amount of layers that we're gonna need for that print. And it took just under two hours to print that bust. And while this video is being sponsored by Anycubic and by no means is this a review of the machine, however, I am finding it amazing to work with. I have run into one issue that I wanted to call out while working with it over the past week, which is I have a small amount of splashing on the inside of the UV protective case. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that's from the high speed printing or from me removing the case and bumping it into the build plate. 
could just happen. And if you're interested in picking up one of these Photon M5S resin 3D printers for yourself, they'll be going up for pre-order over on Anycubic's website on May 22nd for an early bird pricing of $399 for three days only. So definitely check out the links down below if you're interested in picking up one of these bad boys for yourself. I also want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in learning more about my resin 3D printer settings or support settings, you can find those over on my Patreon. And if you're looking for a really intelligent resin 3D printer that is going to do a lot of the work for you, this might be the perfect option for you. I'll definitely have links down below where you can find out more information about the pre-order for the M5S resin 3D printer. But let me know down in the comments what you think down below of this smart resin 3D printer that can print really fast. Honestly, loving the auto bed leveling and that just that simple update of having the vat clean feature right there is just an amazing addition to this resin 3D printer. Just fantastic. Hey, thanks so much for watching y'all. I'll see you next time.